Well, this kiosk in Brookline may look like any other advertisement, but it's actually collecting data from your cell phone. And residents are curious why it's happening. And how can you protect yourself? WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us. Data is everywhere. It's at your fingertips. It's plastered all over town. Most of the time, your data may be passing around and you don't even know it. I guess in today's world, everything is tracked, whether you like to or not. Glenn Gay is having his data tracked right now, right where he's standing. This digital kiosk is a wealth of local information. It's also a data collection point. It's kind of like an innocuous little info board, and uh, I don't understand what the point is. I hope they're not selling it or anything. They are not. These kiosks are made by a local company called SUFA. The boards have sensors in the kiosks that detect a unique identifier in your phone if your Wi-Fi is on. The company says the data is encrypted before it gets transferred to their data portal. It tracks foot traffic, how many people walk by the kiosk. The city can also request that information and utilize it. I linger here for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes a day. So knowing that, uh, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Phone users like Jenna Woods will not get a prompt, nothing to say the data is being tracked. I wish that it was more public knowledge. Cyber experts say all of this is completely legal and more common than you think. It's a, a clock that says they were here for a certain period of time, but that's it. You really don't have any information, personal identifiable information or other sense of information. Peter Tran is the chief information security officer with Infosight, an so IT security firm. Users have to uh, be aware that you're broadcasting out certain types of information so that the cell towers can authenticate you in or know that it's coming from your cell phone. This may be your location or even your cell phone carrier, singular pieces of public information. You start combining pieces of information that become quite valuable from a monetary standpoint. SUFA assures no data correlation is performed, nor is any data sold to a third party. Only your phone's unique identifier is collected. Um, it's not violating privacy per se, but for the normal user, it increases the level of exposure and risk for the users. If you want to avoid collection, Trans suggests turning your Wi-Fi off when you're not using it. Same with your Bluetooth. I guess it's kind of hard to uh, avoid that sort of thing. In Brookline, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.